Hello, my name is Jean Nangwala and welcome to Brave Embodied. Today we have a whole different background, but I will get into why we are sitting today. I hope you had a wonderful week and you were able to exercise saying yes and saying no and when you felt uncomfortable, you let it be known that you were uncomfortable. And today the topic we're going to talk about is sexual violence. A topic that I'm very passionate about, but also I am a survivor of sexual violence. And if you've gone through sexual violence, I just want you to know that it was not your fault and I'm sorry you went through what you went through. And so what is sexual violence? Sexual violence refers to any unwanted sexual act. And we're going to go through types of sexual violence. These types of sexual violence range from penetration, which we know as rape, to fondling or unwanted like touch or advances. When I was growing up, there was this thing that happened, uh, you're walking from school and you just hear boys calling you and saying certain things, even just telling you about how you dress or you don't look good or oh, you look good or I like I like your breasts, like all that is sexual violence. And at one point we thought it wasn't. We thought this is just something that boys do and it's expected in our community. Another form of violence is being forced to even perform any sexual act with a perpetrator. In the past few years, like movements such as the Me Too movement uh, made it easier for women to recognize women and young girls to recognize that they weren't in this alone that there are people out there that will understand your experience and will stand with you and will fight with you even people that have not gone through it are willing to say i will walk this journey with you and it's hard to know that one out of three women have gone through sexual violence and so even at your church in your schools if you are in a group of six friends it is likely that one or two of you have gone through sexual violence and that makes me sad just really thinking about it and if you have gone through it these are the things I want you to know I want you to know that it's not your fault there will be moments that you will replay what happened and start thinking about what you should and could have done different and you could beat yourself up and over and over again I shouldn't have been there I shouldn't have said you know uh, what I said I shouldn't have called this person or I shouldn't have answered I shouldn't have smiled I shouldn't have gone there you will tell yourself that but it is not your fault another thing I want you to know is your clothes had nothing to do with what happened to you I remember the first time I shared what happened the first question I got from people or what people were mostly interested in knowing was what were you wearing like if I wasn't wearing what I was wearing then it wouldn't have happened but your clothes have absolutely nothing to do with what happened to you because rape happens from babies like months old to older women beyond 60 and 70 that rape is still happening to them so your clothes have nothing to do with what happened to you number three i want you to know that wherever you were does not put you at fault sometimes we think of oh i went to the party i shouldn't have gone to that party with my friends maybe that's why you are not at fault and i hope you know that the shame is not for you to carry the shame is that of the perpetrator to carry number four i want you to know that just because someone is your partner or someone you had said yes to kiss someone you are vibing with does not mean it wasn't sexual assault there are moments where you feel like you are obligated to even, you know, allowing them to touch you or if they wanted to touch you, it's okay because, well, he's my boyfriend or, I mean, we've kissed before or they touched me before or um, we are vibing, so it's okay. 
no it's absolutely not okay your no like we said in the previous episode consent you you saying no you saying i'm not sure you saying don't do it you even being quiet that in itself is saying i don't want it uh, and if the person goes against that that is sexual assault well there wasn't penetration like i just touched you or i just kissed you or i just you know was fondling and, and touched you inappropriately but there was no penetration so i really did not sexually assault you that's a lie even if there was no penetration as we mentioned earlier unwanted sexual advances or touch is assault and if that has ever happened to you that's sexual assault living with the knowledge that you have been sexually assaulted is rough and it's tough and i want you to know that in this journey you have people that love you and that will stand with you and walk with you through your healing process there's so many things that help me singing helps me dancing helps me really calming music helps me in moments where i am going back to those moments of i wish that this didn't happen i wish i wasn't there when i have my moments of shoot ups which tend to only bring the shame and the blame back which does not belong to you the shame and the blame belongs to the perpetrator so in those moments i want you to remember um, that you are loved and that you're worthy and in this journey you're not in this alone and also a verse that helps me is revelations 21 verse 4 this is what it says he will wipe every tear from their eyes there will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain for the old order of things has passed away this gives me hope that god understands my pain that in moments that the door is closed and i'm by myself and thoughts that just want to bring me down or make me feel unworthy and unloved that he is there in the midst of everything and sometimes you don't even want to be around the people that love you so what do you do in those moments the knowledge that god is there in that particular moment comforts me and i hope it comforts you today as well another thing that i do is play music when i'm hyperventilating and i don't understand and i have to center myself back to say listen jean it was not your fault there's what is called a butterfly hug and if you're a person that would just want a hug from someone that you are certain loves you and is for you for this particular exercise uh, i would advise you to go and just give them a hug if you're a person that just wants to be in your own space then do this butterfly hug with me what we'll do first is put your feet flat on the ground and either put your hands on your thigh or you could cross and touch your arms for me i love to play music as well because music is something that has always helped with my healing and music calms me down so before I do this I play music um, if you don't want to play music you could say affirming words to yourself but first I want you to breathe in and breathe out what I usually do is count up to four in my head as I breathe in and count out to four as I breathe out. So we'll do that again. Breathe in. And then you alternate tapping on your arm like this. You could close your eyes. I love to close my eyes. 
of feeling at peace with myself. And sometimes just really listen to the song that I'm playing. And this makes me feel held and loved. If you want, you can just tap on your thighs, alternate, close your eyes if you want to, if what works for you is having your eyes open, that's okay as well, and then you can do this until you feel calm and settled. This exercise just centers me and I'm able to remember that the shame is not mine and so this week what i want you to do for me play a song that makes you feel connected to god and sit while doing the butterfly hag but as i mentioned earlier if playing a song while you do it is not helpful for you then don't play a song and you can sit in silence and say affirming words to yourself like i am beautiful i am worthy and i am healing i am strong if that works for you if that doesn't work for you you could just tap and sit in silence until you feel like all your thoughts are coming down and you can now breathe as we end this episode i want you to know that you are loved you are worthy and the shame is not yours i would say it over and over again the shame the blame the fault is not yours I want you to say this prayer with me. Dear God, I don't know how to feel about my body. When I blame myself, send people my way that remind me that this shame is not mine to carry. When I am scared to the point of hyperventilating, calm me. When untruthful thoughts make my days hard, remind me of your promises. When I feel alone, remind me that I am not alone and this valley of death will not consume me. Thank you for loving me. Amen. Thank you for watching this episode. I will see you in our next episode. And remember, you are loved, you are worthy. And I'll say it again, the shame is not yours to carry. Until next time, have a good week.